Hey you guys, what's up? This is Anime Blaze coming to you with another video. And uh, in this particular video, I'm really, really excited. Well, somewhat excited yet disappointed. Okay, let me just tell you what I mean. Alright, so... Uh, so, yesterday I'm surfing the internet and... Well, it was probably either yesterday or a couple of days ago, I don't remember. But... Um, I come across uh, news about Captain Harlock, and you know, like I said, you know, um, before, the Captain Harlock to me is a really good show. Um, it's kind of like a classic, and if I got the chance to get the show on DVD, I would. Well, sometime this year, I'm not sure if it's going to be this year or sometime next year. Most likely, sometime next year, just because there aren't that many months left um, in this year, and I don't know how they'll be able to do it or if they do do it um, but anyway discotech the same company that um, put um, fist of the north star on dvd is putting captain harlock on dvd and i you know i'm really excited that's really really great uh, i'll finally be able to watch episodes 1 through 42 you know like physical physical form i'll actually have it that's you know that's ridiculously amazing uh, I don't, I mean, not that I don't mind watching it online on like uh, Hulu and whatever else. Um, Hulu, Funimation, Crunchyroll, um, those websites, but you know, I'll actually have it. So if my internet goes down, oh snap, I actually have it. Um, another thing, you know, this so this is pretty much an SOS for or a calling for all of you guys who are fans of uh, Leiji Matsumoto or like his works or some of his shows anyway. Um, I definitely recommend you guys check out the show uh, before you go and buy it so you don't waste your money. But at the same time, you know, if you do like it, definitely go out and get it. Uh, I know a lot of people who, you know, who've watched this like back when they're like in the 70s or like whenever the show came out or 20s or not 20s, but the 80s and stuff who are like really waiting for the show to come out because they enjoyed it when they were a kid. And I really think that's pretty cool really cool but anyway uh, on to the next show which was my disappointment okay so I don't know if I like if I show my disappointment and how disappointed I was when uh, they released Bo 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 like the complete series uh, part one and part two on DVD now like again like I said before I love this show it's freaking amazing and hilarious and ridiculously stupid at the same time but uh you know and but it's like affordable it's like 20 bucks for like each collection that's freaking amazing that's a great deal and uh you know I was really prepared to buy it until I found out the bad news about it which s'mores entertainment screwed up on like terribly okay they they released the complete series right you know part one and two and the thing that they really really screwed up on was okay we found out that it, they said it would be too expensive to uh go back and get the english dub and put it on dvd completely understandable you know that's they found it would be too expensive for them so they decided not to do it all good you know you got the subtitles but I come to find out through reviews and people who actually have the DVDs come to find out that they get the DVDs. They're like, okay, you know, put the DVD in, Japanese dub. All right, no solid, but no subtitles. How? How do you screw up something like that? And I, I know this was their first time out on the scene and stuff, but they, they really left a bad impression on a lot of people. And it's kind of just like, you know, but, you know, the thing is that that's what they screwed up on. The reason behind that was because they tried to, I think they tried to put at least 30 episodes onto four discs. And that's at least nine to ten episodes per disc. And, you know, that's... It's pretty ridiculous. I mean, six episodes at most, but you know, but apparently the thing that a lot of people said made no sense with them trying to put that many episodes onto one disc, you know, possibly there wasn't enough coding left to put the subtitles on. 
and yeah, it left a lot of technical difficulties. So, which all, almost meant for pretty much all of the disc, there was no room left for subtitles, in which it's ridiculous. I mean, if you're, and a lot of people say it wasn't really that hard. I mean, other companies do it all the time with lesser popular shows than uh, than this one to even be able to put subtitles on it. And for them to make a move like this and screw up the entire thing, it's ridiculous. But on to my further disappointment. Okay, so they screwed up the first time with Bogo Bo. Okay, you know, that's it's kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Kind of like these banana chips right here. It left a bad taste in my mouth. But uh, yeah, they, they really made a bad impression. So to my surprise, I was sort of excited yet pissed off at the same time when they got the rights to Galaxy Express 3.9. And so I'm sitting there staring at it like, you know, I see it like, oh, okay, you know, Galaxy Express 3.9, you know, it's amazing. Uh, I love that show, or at least I want to check it out. Um, I've seen at least like, a couple of episodes, but, you know, I'll be glad, you know, I'll be able to purchase it and, you know, I'll actually have it. Come to find out that S'more Entertainment has it, and I'm just like, no, 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 no. Because I know, I mean, if everything goes smoothly, they'll actually put it out on DVD. They can't screw up with the dub because there wasn't actually really a dub for the show like entirely through. So they can't exactly screw that up. But at the same time, I'm afraid that they're going to resort to their old <laughs> dumb tactics of trying to freaking put nine episodes or 38 episodes onto four discs. And the, even then, like another person pointed out, was that they're still going to have that margin of error for not being able to put on subtitles, but if they are able to put on subtitles, they're going to be like burnt on kind of subtitles, which a lot of people said were was worse than bootlegs, which I don't know how true that is. But, I mean, to turn subtitles on and off, I guess you could say it's kind of a, it's like a minor gripe, in my opinion. I mean, if it's Japanese, you know, shouldn't you have the subtitles on there? Japanese only, I mean, and you're releasing it in the U.S., so I mean, I wouldn't really see the, the reason not to have the subtitles on there, whether they're removable or burnt on. I don't really care. But at the same time, it's just that fact of, like, I'm, I'm afraid that they're going to resort to those tactics and wind up releasing, like, half of the Galaxy Express series with no subtitles. And it's a Japanese dub only, so it's not like you can go back and fix it. Kind of like what, with how they did with Bobo Bo. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that this company is just trying to find the cheap way out to release box sets and just push it out there at low, low prices. And in my opinion, they either need to do it right the first time or just get out of the anime industry while they can because... Quite honestly, when you screw up the first time, that's kind of like false advertisement. And it's just, it's just bad for business. I mean, first time first time releasing a DVD box set of an anime and you screw up by not adding subtitles to it. I mean, it's kind of bad. So, again, I have no clue of what they're going to do with Galaxy Express 3.9. Uh, for those of you who do speak Japanese fluently, uh, and you know that you want this series, go ahead and buy it because it'll be an investment. Or like me, who is actually looking forward to learning the language, um, anyways, for like business and personal reasons and stuff like that. Uh, you know, it'll actually help you later on, but I'm not going to buy it right now while I can't speak a lick of the language. Uh, and then like waste my money on something I can't watch for three to four years. Uh, that's that's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. But uh, what are you, your guys' opinion on this? Uh, if you're a fan of uh, Leiji Matsumoto, are you as excited as I am for freaking Captain Harlock on DVD? I know I am. Uh, I'll actually have it. And are you disappointed that a sorry company like S'more Entertainment actually got the rights to Galaxy Express 3.9? I mean, I would have, I mean, the thing is, I would have expected, uh, you know, 
discotheque to get the rights to it because they got the rights to Captain Harlock. And they're the company to me that seems like they do stuff the right way. And they're the only company I would expect to them for them to handle something this old. But something just tells me, I've, I'm going to wait for the reviews. If they actually do this right for Galaxy Express 3.9, I'll get it. I'm going to just wait to see for the people who actually go out and buy it first. And if they screwed up, forget it. I'm just watching it online until they actually do it right or until I learn the language at least. But I'm not wasting my money on it anytime soon until I see that they do it right. Oh, man, I'm really sort of excited and disappointed at the same time. I, I, I can get it at an affordable price, but at the same time, it's more entertainment. But anyway, this is the Anime Blaze signing out saying, what are you guys' opinion on this? Drop your comments down in the comment section below. For Captain Harlock, Galaxy Express 39, are you excited? What do you guys think about the series? Do you like banana chips? And I'm out.